Hello, I'm Richard Rosenberg. I am the region manager for CCI Region 2. Hello, um, I'm Joyce Montgomery, and I am the Region 1 manager for the California Career Innovations Project. My name is Teresa Pallison. My title is career coach. Uh, I am in Region 3. My name is Jessica Thompson. I am the transition project assistant for Desert Mountain SELPA in Region 3. Hi, uh, Stacy Shinnick, and uh, we work for LAUSD. I'm a transition coordinator and also a career coach in the California Career Innovations Program. My name is Julie Croner. I um, am a director at Health Sciences High and Middle College. Um, for the CCI grant, I am uh, the region manager for Region 4, um, supporting Sweetwater School District as well as Health Sciences High. My name is Chelsea Huff, and I am a career coach with California Career Innovation, and mm -hmm. we are Region 1. My name is Talia Bush, and I am a college and career development specialist for Solano County Office of Education and Dixon. The ultimate goal is competitive integrated employment. What's really rich in the CCI project is our online database. Our online database has allowed individuals, teachers support to be able to see what's happening with each individual student with live interactions. I, I think anything you have on the CCI IMS is, as far as those interventions, uh, amazing work what they did. I mean, it really is quite amazing. It's all in there. Uh, and you, you know, you add to it, of course, things change, uh, but it's really comprehensive. I mean, really comprehensive. <laughs> yeah, I was really impressed. So I believe all of the core interventions were, you know, very vital in um, assisting our participants in finding employment in their desired career path. The PDP and ICAP are critical in creating work-based learning and competitive integrative employment because you're discovering who the student is, who the most important people are in their life, and the level of support needed in creating a plan according to their vision. The PDP and ICAP help with placing the student in work-based learning experiences and competitive integrative employment that matches the student's interest. Starting off the project, you know, we really focused on the, um, you know, the student-driven plan, the person-driven plan. I think that that probably made a bigger impact to them than whatever research intervention group the student ended up being a part of. Students follow the path of what people tell them that they should be doing. And, and the assumption is they're going in a certain direction because that's what they've been told. And, um, I feel like the PDP really allows them to have a voice in that. So that value of, of having that PDP first is continuing to refer back to what it is that the student wants to do and how we're supporting their aspirations and their goals. One of my favorite pre-employment skills interventions to do with students, especially those in groups two, three, and four, is resume development in Google Docs. Adults, you know, oftentimes we assume that young people, they're considered the tech natives. But the reality is um, that many of them are really extremely limited in their in their facility with technology um, and workplace technology. So a recommendation, I would definitely spend, you know, spend a little time uh, with students, you know, pull out a Chromebook, pull out a computer, ask them to perform some basic tasks, right? Writing an email, look something up on a website. Look a few things up on that website, see how they do it. Our students need a variety of interventions to equip them to enter the workforce. So every tool we can give them helps them get closer to their dream job. We have a cadre of employers who embrace our students with disabilities, who embrace our students with unique learning. We need to recognize young adults don't know where they're going. So work-based learning is fantastic, but I wanna utilize work-based learning as a training tool to help individuals look at what jobs and careers are out there. Well, I recommend that special education and transition staff continue to 
inform, inform, inform their students who are preparing and entering post-secondary. I think their chance of achie achieving success is higher with the more information they know. The advice I would give to staff in special education regarding the interventions would be to have compassion and patience for the participants, especially during COVID. Some students changed their career pathway. I believe these services should be incorporated in all schools, even outside special ed. Everyone can benefit from a career coach. The significance of these interventions were that they were so it, it was foundational knowledge that we were laying down. So as they gain self-confidence in applying these skills to their personal goals, they develop a competitive edge. A lot of students don't get this kind of help and our students uh, can shine above their competitors by incorporating this into their um, job search, into their college planning, into their personal lives, in fact. So um, it's, it's good stuff. Well, it's been um, just an amazing opportunity to work with uh, the California Career Innovations team, uh, working again with San Diego State University. It's been a really great um, experience and I wouldn't change the last five years for anything.